Hi guys, so today's video is all about the Nest Learning Thermostat. This is a great product and I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, smash that like button and hit subscribe for more great videos coming soon. So here it is, the Nest third generation learning thermostat. Can we get the box open? Stage one. So you simply remove the outer film and you've got a little security tab on the side here. Just peel that off and then the box lid just slides up to reveal the beautiful product inside. Here it is, the Nest thermostat itself in glorious stainless steel finish. And this thing was designed by a guy who was originally at Apple. So you might see some similarities. It's a really good looking product and very, very solidly built. Under here we have the instructions. And the great thing about this instruction manual is it does contain uh, information about different types of heating systems like S-Plan, Y-Plan, um, Combi systems to give you an idea of how the Nest fits in with those different systems. And this is the Nest heat link which is basically like the relay box that does the actual switching which replaces your programmer. So that's where you connect your wires to. This little thing is the base for the thermostat itself. So this will replace your room thermostat, your wired room thermostat if you've got one. And the thermostat there just clicks into it once you've wired that up and screwed it to the wall. And here we have a couple of screws provided by Nest, very good quality screws that don't need raw plugs. And a little bezel that goes behind the thermostat to cover if there's a back box or uh, some kind of damage to the wall just to, to neaten it up a bit. And that's it. So let's get out on site and see about installing this thing. So here we are, this is the setup. We've got a programmer there for heating and hot water. There is a wiring center there, that plastic box, and above it, the switch fuse connection unit, which is powering the whole thing. So this is the programmer, and then we've got a room thermostat in the living room, which is wired back to the wiring center. What I always like to do before I turn everything off and start working is just test to make sure that the existing systems are actually working properly. Because if you do get problems later on, you don't know otherwise whether it's something you've done or whether it's the system that wasn't working properly in the first place. Safe isolation, make sure you turn the power off before you work on any electrics and test to make sure it's dead. Now I'm removing the cover for this central heating and hot water programmer. As you can see, it's a Danfoss one. Sometimes they're Honeywell, sometimes they're Danfoss, sometimes they're Time Guard. They're all pretty much the same in the way that they are set up. So there's just a few screws, uh, two screws to remove underneath. You don't have to take them out completely just enough to be able to lever the top off and then it just pops off there. And that reveals the wiring connection plate underneath. And essentially what you've got here is live and neutral supply and earth. And then you've got switch live going back to the wiring center for the hot water and switch live going back to the wiring center for the heating. So the programmer essentially switches the, the power on to the heating and the hot water and you can see the numbers of the connections there, which one's which. You do have off connections there, which are not used, um, but can be used in certain situations. In this case, we're using only the on connections. So we're gonna remove this, and then we're gonna reconnect those wires to the Nest heat link in the same kind of setup. So it's quite simple. 
So we just disconnect these conductors and make sure you take a picture before you do this because otherwise you might forget which wire is for the heating and which wire is for the hot water. And then you're gonna have a lot of troubleshooting to do to find out which one's which. Easier if you've got a picture and you can just refer back to that. So just taking down this old connection plate and the wire is got enough length on it that we can just put that same cable straight back into the nest heat link. We're gonna take the central heating connection unit, connection box here, off. Wiring center, I think that's the correct term for it. And basically it's a box with loads of connectors. It can look a bit confusing, but if you work your way through it bit by bit, looking at the different connections, you can figure out what's what. And it's a good location to do testing, just to bell out some wires if you're not sure which one's which. In this case, there's no actual labeling to tell me what's what, so I had to figure it out. And essentially what I needed to do is find the cable that comes from the room thermostat and then reconfigure that so that it works properly with the nest. So I'd take the cover off the room thermostat here just by removing that screw and then again just popping the cover off and you can see here you've got a similar situation you've got live permanent live and neutral and earth and then you've got switch live going back and the switch live is powered up when the thermostat goes above its set temperature so once the thermostat set to above the temperature that you that is actually in the room the contacts close and it sends power back to the wiring center essentially. So what I've done here is use my continuity tester to just check which cable it is. And I can actually hear because it beeps. I can hear it closing so I know that this is the correct cable. So now we remove the room thermostat. This one was mounted on a normal single metal flush box in the wall. So that flush box would be visible if you connect the nest thermostat directly over it. So I had to use the back plate. So there we go, we've got it off. And now we can see the cable there. It's a three core and earth cable being used. And here what I do is just disconnect the permanent live. That's going over to that. Along with the switch live coming back. Because the nest heat link has 12 volt connections that you need to send 12 volt power over to the new Nest thermostat. You can't connect it to 240 volts. Uh, it doesn't work the same way the old thermostat works. It literally just needs 12 volt power and then it'll work fine. So this is the heat link and I've got my neutral in there. Essentially what you've got is live neutral and earth Actually, Earth is not needed because it's class two. And then you've got permanent, permanent live, which you link across to the common terminals. And then you've got normally open, normally closed for heating and normally open, normally closed for hot water. So in this case, we're just using a normally open contacts. And what I've done here is just run an extra cable across from the heat link to connect to the two wires at the thermostat to give 12 volts to the thermostat. So it goes from the 12 volt connections in the heat link to directly to the thermostat. And then in this wiring center, I've disconnected the permanent live, or I mean the switch live coming from the heat link to turn on the central heating. 
and I've reconnected it directly to the boiler connection. And then here is the room thermostat with the two connections giving you your 12 volts to power up the room thermostat. And then once you click that cover on, you just got to set it all up, connect it to the Wi-Fi, put your Nest Pro ID in there if you're registered as a Nest Pro, and then connect it to and connect it to the app for the customer. And then it all should work. So here's an example of one on a stand. You can see it's quite smart there. So if you don't have an existing wall-mounted room thermostat, you can just buy a stand and mount it anywhere in the house on the stand. And this one I've set it so that it does the time as default. And they light up when you walk up to them. So um, normally the screen's just blank, but then when you walk close, it's got a motion sensor down here, which lights up and it shows you the time and the date in this case. So here, I've got the room temperature is at the moment 19 and a half degrees so that's telling you the room temperature there and then this is what it's set to so it's on the eco setting at the moment if I just raise that up to above the room temperature you can see it goes orange to indicate that it's starting to heat and it tells me that in one and a half hours time the room temperature will reach my desired temperature the Nest thermostat actually calculates the thermodynamics of your house after several months and works out how long it usually takes to reach a given temperature. So it's quite handy. And there you go, after a while it just turns itself off. If I move in front of it, it will light up. Um, so, and then again, if you just turn it down, then it will just click off. Here you've got the menu heat mode, eco mode. You can make your own schedule if you want to. I just let it learn for itself. Um, yesterday it tells me I used two hours of heating and software has been updated, etc. If I go to settings, you've got the home away assist, which is basically a uh, way to detect the location of your mobile phone and or your device that you've connected it to the Nest app and when you arrive home it will automatically turn your heating on or whatever when you go away from home it will turn it off you've got an eco temperature that you can set so that it automatically goes down to that temperature when you're away or when you're in an eco setting safety temperature is to stop it from freezing so it will never allow the home to go bet below 4 degrees Nest Sense is basically gives you various ways to reduce your consumption and tells you a bit about your system. Uh, you've got your display settings here. So I've got uh, using Farsight, which mean, means that when you walk past it, it lights up. And then it can tell you, you can choose whether you want a digital clock to show up, whether you want the weather to show up, whether you want analog clock, current temperature, or target temperature. You've got different brightness settings. The click sound you can hear, you can turn that off if you want. You can choose whether you want it in Fahrenheit or Celsius. Uh, just check your date and time setting. You can lock it if you want. You can choose where you've positioned it. Equipment setting tells you what kind of boiler system you've got. You set all that up when you originally set the system up. Nest Pro, so this gives my Nest Pro details so that the customer can actually contact me if they've got any issues. They need to get my contact details. And just software version, technical info, legal info, and you can reset the system. And that takes you back to the main menu. So that's it. Great little device packed with lots of different features. And here's a feature that you might need if you've got any problems with the Nest thermostat itself. 
at the heat link you'll see this middle button here it is actually a button and you can press it if you want to just override the system and turn everything on so if you've got any issues and you need to just turn heating and or hot water on an emergency press that middle button and it will glow green and everything will come on press it again and everything will go off so that's handy if you've ever got any issues with the thermostat itself and this is what it looks like in the app so you can see here the current uh, heat setting temperature the room setting and if you just press the button the up arrow you can select whichever heat temperature you want and after a couple of seconds it will grow orange so it, it basically works exactly the same as the actual physical thermostat um, but it's just an app version working over Wi-Fi and the heating will kick in and then if you want to you just turn the temperature back down again and it will turn off and it learns your behavior over time and then automatically starts to turn your heating on and off at times that will result in the greatest comfort and energy savings for you so you've got this schedule that it makes up for you and it can tell you your history over the last few days of how much heating you've used as well so you can see how much energy you've consumed and how much energy you've saved as always guys smash that like button and hit subscribe for more great videos coming soon.